Hi guys, welcome to Not Today Society, and happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! <laughs> Today we're doing a nice little short episode on 10 interesting facts that you might not have known about Halloween. I know we didn't know a lot of these. To be honest, I did not go through all of them. So that was a lie, because I don't even know. Oh God. <laughs> I read the first two, and I didn't know, so I figured I didn't know the rest. What we're doing, how we got this data, we're using the technology that we're all <laughs> used to now. We asked ChatGPT to give me 10 interesting facts about Halloween. I read, I read the first two, and I was like, okay, didn't know this. We're going to do a video on this. Share it with you guys. Little Halloween special, short video. Let's jump into it. You ready for this? Let's do it. Who wants to read the first one? I will. <laughs> All right. There you go. Um, are we going one? Yeah. You read one. one I read one. We'll go from there. Okay. Ancient origins. Halloween's roots can be traced back over 2,000 years to ancient Cel Celtic festival of... Well, that's a weird festival <laughs> name. Celtic festival of... I will put the word on screen. Sam Samhan? Samayan? Samay okay. <laughs> Which marked the end of the harvest season and beginning of winter. Okay. Okay. That makes sense with the whole end of harvest. Yes. Of winter, fall. <laughs> that was an odd one. Number two looks interesting though. Yes. Jack-o'-lantern tradition. The tradition of carving pumpkins into jack-o'-lanterns originated in Ireland. Ooh. You're Irish. <laughs> Part Irish. Where they used to carve turnips that is in oh, turnips wow. aren't turnips really small or am i thinking okay. of something else i thought turnips were small you let me know hmm. that's crazy they used to carve turnips immigrants brought this tradition to america and pumpkins were more readily available leading to the familiar practice we know today wow so it started with turnips and then when it came to america pumpkins were more readily available and we started carving up pumpkins <laughs> all right are you guys carving pumpkins today did you already do it <laughs> People are very talented when it comes to that. Yeah, I've seen some amazing mine things. Would look like a well, probably a two year old would do better. I was gonna say it would look like a two year old, but they'd probably do better than me. <laughs> okay, um, number three, trick or treating evolution. The modern tradition of ch uh, children dressing up in costumes and going door to door for candy evolved from a medieval practice called uh, souling. Souling. Yeah, um, where people would offer prayers for the dead in exchange for food. Wow. Okay. That is oddly <laughs> freaky and weird. That is a called. Did I say that word right? Souling. Yeah. Souling. S o u l i n g. It's almost like soling. take your soul. <laughs> yeah, they would exchange prayers for the dead for food. That is, I did not know that. Yeah. Hmm. All right, number four, black cats and witches. We all know about the Ooh. whole black cat. Yeah. Like bad luck or whatever. Let's see. Black cats have been long associated with superstitions and witches, leading to their prominence in Halloween folklore. Many believe that black cats bring bad luck, while others view them as a symbol of protection. I have not mm. heard of the symbol of protection side of things. Mm. I've heard of the, like, bad luck and whatnot. Bad luck, yeah, but I don't believe, you know, being crossed by a black cat. Yeah, it's like I a superstition thing. I love thing, black but cats. I didn't know about the um, whole protection. Oh, yeah. there you go. Learn something new every it's day. Interesting. Ooh, I've read candy corn um, already. That's what, the okay. next one. Candy corn origins. Candy corn, a popular Halloween treat, was created in the 1880s by George Renninger, an employee of the Wonderly Candy Company. Hmm. Mm. Fun fact. <laughs> well, candy corn is basically just sugar, and that's kind of why it's awesome. Mm. I haven't had it in yeah. forever, but that is... <laughs> pretty tasty do you like candy corn because it's like a love it or hate it thing. yeah like i used to love it when i was a kid i loved it yeah some people love I it, some people it. Hate it i mean if it's around i'll have it <laughs> yeah let us know if you like candy corn or not because i feel like it's one of those love it or hate it people are mm. like oh candy corn i love it. and other people are just like not my thing it tastes like wax and blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. it literally it tastes like sweet wax but mm. whatever number six haunted houses Haunted houses and attractions are a big part of Halloween entertainment. The idea of haunted houses can be traced back to the Victorian era, <clears throat> excuse me, when it becomes popular to host spiritualist seances. Huh. <laughs> so I used to do those. Yeah, you said that in a past <laughs> video, and it freaked me out because it was one of our scary ones. And she's like, "Oh yeah, me and my sister and my mom and my aunt or whatever." You said like, and I'm like, "What? Oh, dude. I gotta no, worry like about witchy seances." I did not know she was a witch. Apparently, <laughs> she's a witch. So now we're on number seven. I have no clue what that word says. Oh man! Good luck with this word. I saw. I don't know what it says. I will again put <laughs> it on screen as you All try right. to pronounce it. Samhanophobia. San 
Samhanophobia. Could okay. it be murdering that word? I don't know. <laughs> um, some people have the fear of Halloween known as Samhamophobia. The fear can be triggered by various factors, including the fear of the unknown and the association of Halloween with supernatural elements. Okay. Hmm. I did not know that there was a phobia of I'm Halloween. Sure, yeah. Well, there's a phobia for everything. Well, but, I, you yeah. know, you got the spider. There's one about uh, clowns. I just don't remember the name. Yeah. Well, no, no, there's a phobia. But Literally I didn't know there was everything. one about, like, Halloween. That's almost like a phobia of Thanksgiving, a phobia <laughs> of like, Christmas. Well, no, because like, Halloween's of, creepier. I know, like, but I'm thinking of it from the angle of, like, it's a holiday. Like, someone yeah. has a phobia of a holiday. But a lot I of people think the night of Halloween um, or your Halloween, uh, Halloween, <laughs> Halloween, ha- Eve. Halloween Eve, Halloween, Halloween Eve. Eve, you know, like the what is that? come what, back what, to what, life what is that and called? stuff. The day before what? Halloween where all the kids go out and do whatever. Mischief night. Oh, yeah. Mischief, mischief night. night. <laughs> when I was a kid. Now, that's why I'm already forgetting it because I don't, I don't do mischief night no more. <laughs> if my neighbor's house is full of toilet paper, don't blame me. <laughs> Number eight, Halloween colors. The traditional colors of Halloween, orange and black have specific meanings. Orange represents the fall harvest and changing colors of leaves, while black symbolizes death and darkness. Mm. That's a cool <laughs> way to weave them together. Yeah. Like I knew the whole black and orange, sometimes you kind of throw in like browns and yellows, but black and orange, orange I understand with the leaves changing and black mm-hmm. makes sense, death and whatnot, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Um, okay, nine, world records. Halloween holds several world records including the largest gather- gathering of zombies, the largest pumpkin, and the most lit jack-o'-lanterns in one place. I've seen, That's my sister cool. goes to this thing in New York. It's like this huge thing with all these crazy jack-o'-lanterns and it must take a lot of work, but it's That's, awesome. Yeah, no, that's pretty cool. It holds the, the, the largest gathering of zombies. Mm-hmm. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Number 10, the last one. I know I have a five up because my other hand's busy. So boom, boom, 10. <laughs> it is the second most popular holiday. I'm going to give a two second wow. break. Do you know what number one is? Just think about it. Yeah. Halloween is the second. Let me scroll back down. Halloween is the second most commercially successful holiday in the United States with Christmas being first. It's a time of significant economic activity driven by costume sales, decorations, and of course, candy purchases. Yeah. And that makes sense because Christmas is all about buying gifts, higher end gifts, lots of money is being put through the economy left and right, buying gifts, giving. Mm-hmm. Halloween, well, you're buying costumes and some of those things get super expensive. Candy. If, yeah. yeah. Candy, which isn't expensive, but you get a lot of it. And decorations and stuff. Decorations. Yeah. You know, you basically because decorate more for Halloween and Christmas than any then, other. Yeah, than Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. You might put a little things up in between. Easter, but those two are the most decorated. Yeah, so that makes sense. Now, I have a random question for you guys. So a lot of movies know. are, um, you know, go with Halloween. Mm-hmm. Who is watching Hocus Pocus tonight? Hocus Pocus is the best Halloween movie. You've never seen it. You brought it up. I don't know. I know. I, it's, think, I, I find it either. insane. It's we like got to watch an old it. One, right? It's an old classic. I think they made a new version, but the, be- the, the oh. best one is well, the let, original. Yeah. You let her know if you've seen it. And then my question yes. is what is your favorite scary Halloween movie? Mm. What is that? That's going to be it. We're going to keep this one short. Yes. Like I said, 10 interesting facts about Halloween that hopefully you didn't know. If you have more, drop them in the comments. We will chat some more. Subscribe if you're interested in more content. we got some freaky reaction <laughs> videos that go hand in hand with Halloween. Yeah. I will link them at the end of this video throughout. You can check it out on our channel. And we will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.